Welcome viewers to this video and this video is a continuation of revision in grammar. In this video I am going to tell you the kinds of nouns. This video is on nouns particularly in the kinds of nouns. Detailed discussion about nouns we shall be having in this video. Uh, let me tell you my dear, this video is only a revisional initiative. Those who know something of grammar, know something of noun, this video will be immensely useful for them before going to the examination. This video is quite helpful for the examinees, those who are appearing at the competitive exams. And this video is also going to be immensely helpful for the students in schools and colleges. So stay tuned till the end of this video. Nouns are the names of persons, places, things or qualities. And uh, all of which uh, I have made clear in my discussion in my previous video named parts of speech. Now, I am going to tell you in this video about the kinds of nouns. Let me tell you that nouns are of five types, five categories. First one is proper noun, other one is common noun, third one is collective noun, fourth one is material noun, and the fifth one is a start noun. Proper noun, proper noun is the name of a person or a place. When I say Ramesh is an advocate, it refers to a person Ramesh. So Ramesh is the name of a person, that's why Ramesh is proper noun. Another sentence, Odisha is a state of India. Odisha is the name of a place, that's why Odisha is the proper noun. And the second category of noun is uh, the common noun. What's a common noun? Common noun is a name in common and referring to a class. For example, boy. When I say boy, boy refers to all the boys. When I say girl, girl refers to all the girls. Yes, so boy, girl, lion, bird, all these are the common nouns. Here is another sentence. Manish is a boy. When I say Manish, Manish is a proper noun, Manish is the name of a person and boy refers to all the boys. So that's why boy is a common noun. Common noun and proper noun apart, there is a third category of noun. And the third category is collective noun. Collective noun is the name of several persons or things treated as one. What's that? Let me tell you, many soldiers taken together into one entity is known as army. So army is a collective noun. Many books taken together create one library. A library is a collective noun. Similarly, many persons assemble together they form a crowd. So crowd is a collective noun. And the fourth category of noun is material noun. What's a material noun? Material noun, it refers to the materials or the substances of which things are made. For example, gold. Gold is a material noun because out of gold many things are made. Cotton. Cotton is a material noun out of which things are made. Similarly, sand. These are all coming under the material noun. The last category of noun is a struct noun. What's an abstract noun? Abstract noun refers to quality. Abstract noun refers to action. And abstract noun refers to the state or different stages of time. Yes. When I talk of quality, sweetness is a quality, honesty is a quality, bravery is a quality. So sweetness, honesty and bravery, all these words are the abstract nouns. Let me talk of the action. Motion is an action word. Pronouncement, action word. Threat is an action word. So talking of the action, these words motion, pronouncement and threat, they are the abstract nouns. Talking of the state, there is different stage of time. Adulthood, it's, it talks of state. Uh, childhood, it also talks of state. So this adulthood and childhood, they are the abstract nouns. Yes, my dear. These are the five categories of nouns. Uh, now let me come to different special aspects of noun. Here is one. Certain abstract nouns are also treated as collective noun. Abstract nouns treated as collective noun. Youth, it's one abstract noun. But when I say youth of India can do everything. Here youth 
can be treated as a collective noun all the young people young people taken together youth can be both abstract noun and it can be collective noun a few other notable aspects of nouns are also here nouns can also be classified into two other categories one is countable noun another is uncountable noun countable nouns are the names of persons and things we can count books say we can count computers we can count so these are the countable nouns and uncountable noun water sugar all these are the uncountable nouns we cannot count on another notable aspect of noun is nouns are of various types one is abstract noun abstract nouns are formed by three ways one is creation of abstract nouns from adjectives another is creation of abstract nouns from verbs another is from common nouns let me tell you adjectives they give rise to abstract nouns for example when i say decent decent behavior decent is adjective but from this decency can be created and decency is noun and when i say dark dark is adjective but noun is darkness deep is an adjective depth is noun so these examples tell us that adjectives they can create abstract noun even abstract nouns can be created by verbs say punish punish is verb and punishment is an abstract noun judge judge is verb and judgment is an abstract noun another word is uh, obey and the abstract noun is obedience these verbs like say punish obey judge all these are the verbs and out of these verbs abstract nouns can also be created common nouns also create abstract nouns what are the common nouns for example friend friend is a common noun but this friend can give rise to abstract noun friend c another is infant infant is common noun but infancy when we talk of infancy it's uh, abstract noun this way abstract noun can be created by adjectives by verbs and by common nouns so these are the notable aspects of nouns you should be very particular about it because in many competitive exams uh, these sort of things are mutated to create questions to confuse the candidate in the examination also in schools and colleges many such questions relating to all these areas are set for the students now let me have a quick overview of the types of nouns let me tell you my dear nouns are of five types common noun proper noun collective noun material noun and abstract noun well we have understood different aspects of noun and their varieties now let's have a test let's try to check up if our understanding of the types of nouns has been perfect or not a few sentences are here let's identify the nouns in those sentences and after identifying the nouns let us put them in different categories one sentence is this necklace is made of gold in this sentence necklace is noun gold is also noun and both these nouns they come under material noun another sentence we have the lovers of honesty in this sentence lovers this is one noun honesty this is also one noun and lovers that's a common noun and uh, honesty is a abstract noun third sentence a committee of five judges decided the matter in this sentence committee is a noun judges that's a noun and matter is also another noun let me tell you committee is a collective noun and uh, judges that's a common noun matter is an abstract noun and there is one category of test now let's have another type of test and it's the creation of certain collective nouns out of specific words one word is soldiers soldiers taken together the creed army are these a collective noun people that's a common noun and by creating many persons are taken together crowd is created so crowd is one collective noun so army and crowd they are the collective nouns another category of test we will create the abstract nouns from the adjectives certain adjectives are here let's create uh, abstract nouns bitter adjective bitterness that's the noun sane sanity sane is adjective sane is noun and uh, poor poverty that's the noun poor is adjective here are some words let's create some abstract nouns out of these words one word is act act action action is noun think noun is thought die noun is death so die think all these are the words and again let's try to create uh, some abstract nouns out of the common nouns here are some common nouns friend one friend is a common noun and uh, friendship that's an abstract noun pilgrim it's a common noun pilgrim is that's uh, an abstract noun and thief uh, that's a common noun 
and theft is abstract noun. Well, we have now mastered types of nouns. This understanding is required in order to excel in the competitors and in academic exams. Let me make it very clear, my dear. This video is an illustrative refreshment. It's a revisional exercise. Different prototype questions relating to questions which are usually set in examinations. All these will follow in subsequent videos. Thank you.